Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com and the purpose of the series of tutorials is to show you an overview of the tools available to you with Wix to help you build your website. So if you're still considering whether Wix is the best website builder for you or if you've already signed up for a free account with Wix, I just want to learn a little bit more about how to get started using Wix. I think these tutorials would be very helpful for you. If you haven't signed up for Wix yet, I think you should sign up for a free account and it doesn't require you to have any credit card information. So it's free to try before you commit. So in this very specific video, we're going to go through how to sign up with a free account with Wix and just overview of the uh, panel once you get inside. So on Wix.com, this is the homepage here. To sign up or to log in, click on the right top corner and this little pop-up screen is going to come up. If you want to create a new account, click create new account. And all you need is an email address and your own password. You don't even need to give them your credit card information. You can decide whether you want to upgrade later if you decide that Wix is the right thing for you. Additional benefit is once you upgrade with Wix to the premium package, they give you 14 days or money back guarantee. So if you want to cancel it, you can always just reach out to them and cancel your premium package. Or else just sign up for free and give it a shot. And if you like it, you like it. If it doesn't suit you, you know, there are always other website builders out there. So since I have an account already, I'm going to insert my email address and a password. Click OK. And this is the dashboard. Now, notice in the dashboard, I already have a website set up already. So this is the website. And normally, if you want to add another website or start with a website, you would click on Create. But before you go there, I just want to quickly walk you through uh, what we're seeing in, in the dashboard here. So if you have a few different websites set up already, um, your websites will be stacked horizontally here. We only have one set up so far. So, But just keep in mind, you can actually have multiple different websites within your Wix account. To edit this website, just click on Edit Site. Now there are other things here that can help you manage your website, such as you can view the site, you can con connect with a domain. One thing to note is if you want to connect uh, your Wix website to your own domain name, you do have to upgrade. And the basic connection fee is $4 and change a month. Now this is just uh, enables you to connect your own domain. If you want other features out there, uh, you can get this package here, the combo deal, and it'll show you what's available under this package in here as well. These are the more advanced ones. This, was, this one is for the e-commerce, and this is the unlimited plan, uh, which gives you a lot more features and flexibility. One thing to note is that when you sign up with their plans, as you can see here, there's a 14-day money-back guarantee, and they also give you um, Google AdWords credit, uh, $75 worth, $50 worth Facebook ads, um, and actually give you a free domain for one year, so you don't have to purchase your own. You can actually get one free through Wix. So it really is a compelling value because you will arguably you make all the money back if you take advantage of the credits and also if you sign up for a free domain name, typically a GoDaddy, that's going to be anywhere from $10 to $12. So that would definitely, that's equivalent to about two months, two to three months worth of basic connect domain plan from Wix. So just coming back to the dashboard here, you can also rename the uh, site name right here, or you can actually just delete it if you want to cancel it. Okay, so over here at the top, you can pick other things here. If you upgrade to your premium package, you can select domain names or use the vouchers uh, for your Google AdWords or Facebook ads. You can configure your settings, uh, you know, the email address and update your password, etc. So it's pretty intuitive to navigate around in the Wix dashboard. You know, the, the, the settings are not complicated. Those are the key things you really need to focus on before you start creating your website. So in the next video, we're going to start getting into selecting themes and testing out the different elements within Wix.